dailies. Um, allow me to introduce my panel this morning. Sitting closer to me, I have Honorable David Olesen Cook. He's a nominated member of parliament. In the middle, Professor George Wajakoya. He is a lawyer. And on my far end, I have Barack Muluka, Secretary General to the ANC Party. Gentlemen, it's always a pleasure to have you this morning. Um, grab a copy of your standard newspaper this morning. We're going with the big headlines. Chaos as Chibukati locks out poor chiefs. It is something that we'll take a look at during a political point. But let me draw your attention to something else. On page 10, Joho, every leader must account for their wealth. It's one of the stories that we're running with, and it's on page 10 of the Standard newspaper this morning. Um, allow me to, to begin with you, Honorable um, David, um, on this matter of uh, Joho. First of all, for him, it was a very bountiful, fruitful weekend, should I say. He met with Mze, um, Daniel Moya, our, our retired president. One, a meeting, should I say, that no one saw coming, right? Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, first of all, uh, uh, it depends on what you mean by fruitful mm -hmm. uh, weekend. Mm -hmm. Because to me, first of all, meeting with, the, with Mze Moy is like meeting with any other Mze because at the end of the day, uh, some people have turned our former president as a political museum mm -hmm. in which only a few selected people can be able to see him. And again, for Joho to be to be install, installed as a, a Kalenjin, I think, elder, a Pokot elder, by women, you know, I'm a pastoralist, by women, and being given that women regalia, it was also another, I think it, it actually depends on what you mean by fruitful. What was wrong with him being accorded by, by women? I'm a pastoralist. Okay. Pastoralists are installed as elders by other elders, Can women not, not by be women. Elders? Can women not mm -mm. be elders? Mm -mm. Oh, of community? course, unless it is now in another community. <coughs> but according to the tradition uh, of the pastoralist community, you are in Seoul as an elder because by fellow elders, it's by fellow men. It's 2018. Let, let me tell you, even if it is 2018, women will install their fellow women, uh, for, for instance, uh, install them as chief, chief uh, propagandists, <laughs> and something like that. But for elders... They are installed by elders. And by the way, that regalia, I think you people should not be circulating so much mm -hmm. because this is regalia normally worn by women during their marriage, uh, wedding. wedding days uh -huh. or at times mm -hmm. by those old women yes. who want to remember mm -hmm. how their wedding, wedding used to be. Okay. Yes, so it is normally a kind of anniversary okay. for older women, but for younger women, during their wedding day only. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, these women seem to be breaking tradition, would you say? I, I was shocked. I think Pokots, you know, it was a way of probably demeaning him, mm -hmm. but without him, his own knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. it was actually demeaning. Okay. We are normally given cloth of animals and a specific animal. Yes? So sometimes it is Columbus uh, monkey, <coughs> that skin of Columbus monkey, or a lion headgear. I swear, what we wear? But you cannot wear these things that are used by women <laughs> during singing. All right. Yeah. Okay. Professor Wachakoya, you seem to be laughing. What were your thoughts? What do you make of this meeting between Governor Hassan Joho and that of uh, Mze Jomo? I think for Moi, that's quite in order. Mm -hmm. He's an old man, a statesman, a wise man. A man who changed from what he was to a Democrat at the last minute and gave us what you have today. But however, having said so, with whatever I have heard Joho saying, Joho should not be the one talking or pointing fingers at others as criminals. He has a past which we need to uncover. Right. Before he became a governor, there is much more in that uh, shelter that we need to know. Thank you. All right. Nevertheless, um, he got to meet Mze Moy, who our very own deputy president, William Ruto, did not, wasn't able to secure even a meeting with. Is that something we should read into? Um, I, I think, uh, to be honest with you, the way William Ruto treated Moy in, uh, after Moy had hand over, handed over power to Kibaki was uncouth. Right. Don't forget that it's Moy who brought uh, William up. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the same time, William is a leader. He's a vice president of this country. And if you wanted to seek audience with the president, he ought to have been given that opportunity. Mm. Probably he would have gone there to seek more wisdom or to mm. say, I'm sorry, Mze, 
And I'm looking at Gideon. Mm -hmm. Gideon is one of the most vibrant upcoming leaders mm -hmm. to reconsider his stand and probably allow uh, William to see the president. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Muluka, your thoughts on this? Uh, an assortment of thoughts. Mm -hmm. First, uh, with regard to Mzemui, I disagree with uh, my good friend, Honorable David uh, Sangok. Mzemui is not just uh, any other elder. villager <laughs> or elder in the countryside. Mm -hmm. He's a person who has had a, a 12 duty. It has had its ups and downs. Uh, if I've uh, stated before that uh, he'll probably go down in history as a great man who made uh, some great mistakes, but a great man nonetheless. So you cannot uh, just uh, dismiss him and say that uh, going to see him is like seeing any other elder mm -hmm. in the countryside. It is not true. Uh, then there's uh, the entire symbolism around uh, Governor Joho, yes, is actually being dressed up uh, in uh, not just feminine but female regalia. Uh, we are, of course, um, in a world that is increasingly progressive. There's nothing wrong about uh, a man deciding that uh, he wants to join an institution of uh, women because uh, people have got different orientations and if your orientation starts telling you that you want to join a certain institution because you think that you're going to fit there then uh, so be it we saw that uh, the pope was in ireland the other day and we saw that uh, uh, people including on the bbc and on the cnn were telling the pope that uh, he needs uh, to reform the church by which is it was understood that uh, he must accommodate some of the emerging trends whether they are about abortion, whether they are about LGTB, and so on and so forth. And so a gentleman is allowed to redefine himself. So you're sarcastically agreeing with to, to to the, the Mr. Cook here. Uh, I'm, I'm neither agreeing nor differing. I'm just agreeing <laughs> an assortment of uh, my own thoughts. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you also have, have a problem with I the fact that this, it was women who? This, this is part of transvestry. Uh -huh. Where you have uh, men dressing up like, like women, women and women so dressing up like men, like men. So and it is uh, quite uh, <laughs> acceptable. But I would not undermine our uh, women and say that, oh, it was just done by women and so on. If Professor here decides, in fact, that uh, he, he, she wants to undergo uh, some kind of uh, surgical operation that uh, will make him her. A man, woman, woman, man. It's agreed. So be it. In fact, <laughs> but gentlemen, I think we're pushing it a bit too no, far there. No, it was no, exaggerated. No, 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 it was, it was more no, no, it is a true. welcoming no, ceremony. No, 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 no. Let can, me tell you. So is it because that it was you done know, by women no, that no, now? No, 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 not that it was done by women. You know, there is a, we have tradition. Okay. So if you decide to go the tradition way, it's an you should follow the tradition of what is not happening. It's 2018. This, this it is, just, uh, you tell me a woman, an elder uh, in, in society, in tradition. If it is, if it is 2018, we, you should have gone uh, the way of the 2018. But they decided to go the way of the tradition. Those are clothes of not 2018. So that they the belong to a certain skin. institution. Yes. And that regalia is not worn by just any woman. Mm -hmm. It is worn by a woman who has made certain traditional achievements. Yes. And uh, it married. is sacrosanct. And so you are being told that you are now an honorable member of this institution <laughs> of woman. Oh, really? <laughs> Recently, I, I just came from the U.S. Uh, I have retired into studies again, to enroll for another doctorate. And they brought somebody to be my supervisor. And this person was actually dressed in the woman's clothes. Mm -hmm. His voice, and my, I, I cheated. It's her voice. Have, yeah, so I said, excuse me, not this one. And then I was being reprimanded. I said, you can go to hell with your PhD until I was recalled and somebody else. So let's, I, I am totally in agreement. With your fellow gentlemen. Yes, I mean, it's nothing wrong with, I'm not saying somebody's with a lesbian women, here. I, I respect you. Or gay. I respect other but, women. Yes. I respect yeah, my mother, my daughters, my sisters. But they can But we be. must accept that there's, there are institutions of womanhood. And there is a process of and joining there is a that process institution. Of joining that institution. So if Joho have decided, so if you decide to follow that she. path, 
<laughs> and become a member of that institution, it must be understood Gentlemen, as such. Gentlemen, I promise I'll call you back and we're going to have this debate again. Because even as a woman, I'm going to have to... But then, come on. But then, the issue of uh, seeing the former president, yes. the former head of state. You know, William Ruto went to see the former head of state as an institution of the presidency. But that meeting as still a deputy didn't president. happen. Yes, it didn't happen. And that is why we are saying there is childish play here. Because if you are a former president, and here is somebody, whether he wronged you or not, is the deputy president. Mm -hmm. So he belongs to the but institution of president. Protocols. Protocol. Protocols. You don't just materialize at uh, the former president's gate one morning as if you are walking in the countryside and you are saying, let me stop. No, my friend, pro they are, they are, they are <coughs> protocols. My friend Muluka, if today the president wants to see you, he must he follow that is protocol. why he's the president. No, 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 no. He's Muluka, the let me ask you. The presidency of this country. Presidential clout allows uh, no. President Uhuru Kenyatta, but if he comes and bounces into your house, and you, you, you will he close doesn't find anybody. He finds we haven't swept or cleaned up the place. It's the one who's left with the rotten egg on his face. Muluka, do you it's think? Muluka, do you think that a Joho and a Gideon Moy ticket for 2022 could be something possible? Mm -mm. A very mm -hmm. hypothetical question, but uh, in politics, politics itself is the art of the possible. We have seen all manner of political formations, mm -hmm. those which are going somewhere, and those that are not even uh, getting started. Do you think it so, can become a formidable force? You know why I ask that, is that yeah. even after the Ipsos results came out, a lot of people were saying that um, a, Ru a Ruto and Waiguru ticket could be the next thing we're seeing. So could we also be seeing a job? We must ask ourselves what is common between uh, Ruto and <laughs> Waiguru. Uh, Waiguru, and which makes them good bedfellows uh, for political, economic and other <laughs> purposes. We must ask what the lowest common factor uh, is uh, be, be, be between the two and what therefore makes it uh, an interesting, if somewhat comical, uh, ticket. Right. What are your thoughts on this? I don't know what to say because my friends have just said everything I wanted to say. Especially more so on the, uh, on the governor, uh, Governor Joho and uh, Baringo Senator Gideon Moy, perhaps. Uh, I don't think whether that would be a good combination. Why? It will flop. Uh -huh. Yes. I don't want to give why. What assets, uh, political assets, really is... Uh, Joho could be Joe. wooing. It, the, he will bring Joe. in the Mombasa vote. It, the it doesn't matter. Vote. It doesn't. Uh, uh, um, let me correct you there. Franchise. We are moving away for this, from this <laughs> mediocrity of regional. Eh? I'm a lawyer. I'm from Mumias. When I come in, I'll come with Mumias votes. I am a lawyer. My father himself will never vote for me even mm -hmm. if I... Mm -hmm. He's a pro raila to death. Mm -hmm. And he tells me, my son, where's Mama Kuraku? Sumamia uko inje. But then it doesn't mean that now, if Gideon takes me as a running mate, I'll bring, come on board with your votes. Now, on this, uh, this, this does not really make any sense. We are moving away from this mediocrity. We need actually to come up and see people like that Luka. Myself, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Why? Like Sango. You know, you know, why, why Muluka? You know, you know, no, no, I'm just uh, giving uh, an example. Yes. You know, on this ticket, we should actually at least hear from them. You know, let us not be prophet. prophet. Let us not prophesize. Let us not, not, not be mind readers. But in any case, we should actually see the agenda for the country. And like Not that they, they will come with the, uh, the coastal votes right. and the other one coming with the Root Valley votes. Right. Who told you? You know, I like what you said about they're the ones who should come out. Joho here is saying that every leader must account for their wealth. Exactly. Yes. And that is what uh, our head Shouldn't he not be the first to do so and declare I think life a lifestyle audit should audit? be done on Joho first. Exactly. And, and no, no, it is he's actually something that is just repeating what the head of state is uh, saying. That lifestyle uh, audit brick, is required mm -hmm. for every state <laughs> officer. Mm -hmm. Starting from mm -hmm. state officer number one, who is the president, the deputy president, all the way to the governors, to the members of parliament, to MCS, to uh, procurement officers. Mm -hmm. And that is what we should do. In fact, we have been waiting for this lifestyle audit like eternity. For us, we need that lifestyle audit done right now and then. Because for us, it is like writing our history. Some still... of us have a history that you can actually uh, account from day one to day two. Do there you... are people who inherited their wealth. Uh -huh. And I think he was sarcastically referring to Gideon. Do because he may not account for the wealth that he inherited. Do you still have confidence in this lifestyle audit that we've been seeing for now two, three months? At first, we saw a few people being taken in. 
um, closed door discussions and grilling. Nevertheless, as Kenyans, it's hyped up, then we forget. Do you still have confidence in this? Uh, surely, uh, for me, I'm still waiting for li lifestyle loading. I don't, I don't, I don't see, really see that uh, lifestyle loading to procurement officer as a lifestyle loading. What I need is a lifestyle loading from Urumwe <coughs> Kenyatta to all of us, mm -hmm. even including myself, mm -hmm. so that we can account to what we have. So and it's not have only you done in terms, yours? It's not, I've been doing mine yearly, mm -hmm. and it's not only in terms of money, you, you can, by the way, you can visit New mm -hmm. because my lifestyle, it is already there, so I can only come down and account. I've also written my autobiography, I acquired my wealth, but the lifestyle audit should not only be on the stolen money, also on the stolen land. Because we have TGRC report, we have a QM report. TGRC is just ways. collecting dust no, wherever no, no, no. it's seated. We, we, no, no, no. We, we need to bring it back so that we have to know thieves of this country. And I think that does not only mean somebody who has stolen public funds. Mm -hmm. It's only somebody who has stolen public land. And it is even worse if you have stolen land because you have stolen our inheritance. So as a nominated member of parliament, what are you doing in your own capacity? Uh, of course, uh, we will wait for the lifestyle audit to kick start, which I expect to start from uh, Uhuru down, down to all of us. If it does not, then I'll bring a motion to uh, restart okay. the lifestyle audit. All right. Because That's we it. need it. We need it. Let's head we over to it. the Daily Nation. As I told you earlier, the graft, the war on graft has now seems to be on the courts of the judiciary. Judiciary crisis as top judge is quizzed. This specific article goes on to say that one specific judge has been called in for questioning. They haven't said the name of the judge yet. Um, nevertheless, it's alongside a city lawyer, a top city lawyer here in Nairobi. Um, let me bring um, attention to something. And perhaps Ojekoya, as a lawyer, you may help us understand this. Listen to this. The process when a bench is weak, it's on page for the Daily Nation in case you want to follow it up. It says, while judges are not shielded from criminal prosecution, the Constitution says that they can only be removed from office through a petition initiated by the Judicial Service Commission acting on its own motion or on the petition of any person on the Judicial Service Commission. <coughs> That's the language that, that came with the colonial mentality. Yes. Things have changed. Yes. Public interest comes in. If a judge takes a gun today and shoots Muluka dead, mm -hmm. do you want God the, forbid, the, the, yeah. God forbid <laughs> do you want the whole world to wait for judicial <laughs> service commission to sit to interrogate the work of the police? Mm -hmm. If a judge is found stealing, take him to court. And that's why I like Kinoti. There's a lawyer recently, and I'm not going to mention names, mm -hmm. who actually colluded to steal gold, which was not there. And because <laughs> of the law society prescriptions that you have to report the law society for the law society to go through this for them to give. The Kinoti said no. Haji said, no, take the man to court. If there's enough and sufficient evidence, let him face the ropes. And he was taken to court. It's up to him now to prove himself wrong. Right. So this issue of saying that we have to follow that uh, status quo, which was, uh, produced, which was introduced by colonialism in 1874, that they have to be removed out of this. Yes, the Constitution also says that. But what about this? Fluttering of judiciary. In fact, most of these judges are very corrupt, and I, I'm not and, going to, yeah. to to say it in a, in a wrong way. Judiciary is very corrupt, including journalists who cover court cases. The other day, I was in court and I saw journalists kissing and hugging criminals outside the courthouse so that they could kill the story. So the issue of a judge being in Found, uh, found in an appropriate way, we should not wait for Judicial Service Commission. Muluka, do you think that Kenyans still mm -hmm. have confidence with um, the judiciary system? Absolutely. The judiciary remains, as we have said time and again, the last firewall in the fight against uh, corruption, against theft and uh, crime in this country. Mm -hmm. I get a little appalled when uh, my good brother and friend, uh, Professor Wajakwe, who is a uh, a lawyer by training, practice, mm -hmm. and is an educationist uh, in that uh, particular field and encourages uh, kangaroo styles of uh, doing uh, things. There's due process. And the reason this due process has been inscribed in the letter and spirit of the laws of this country mm -hmm. is that uh, we must uh, have uh, a sense of uh, organization and order that uh, if there is a, a judge, there's a way in which you are going to deal with a judge apprehending them. If uh, they must eventually be apprehended, you must uh, denude them of the dignity and decorum that goes with the office. And that's why the processes of uh, tribunals and so on have been put in place, because we must separate 
between the judge as a person and the judge as the institution that uh, they, they, they represent. And uh, one is not saying that uh, individual judges may not be above board. One is saying that uh, you cannot uh, use the instance of uh, one judge, for that matter, to condemn a whole institution. I think the judiciary in this country has uh, particularly over the past uh, eight or so years been very exemplary and I think that uh, we should not uh, undermine its uh, dignity. Let's wait and see when uh, I'm told it's a lady justice right. is uh, brought before the, <laughs> the courts what it's going to be, to be like uh, without undermining the dignity of the judiciary. All right, we'll keep an eye on that story as it seems to be one of the top stories. The, the week is still young either way. Let's take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to jump into political point. One of the three things we'll be looking at is that uh, visit between um, Donald Trump and Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta. Um, third way Alliance Party leader, Ekuro Court, also wants the, third, um, the, breeding, the, breeding, the building bridge, rather, initiative to be disbanded. We'll also take a look at that and also take a look at the chaos and the drama within IBC as it still continues. Let's take that commercial break. We'll be right back.